All right, guys. Um, gandang hapon. Sorry for uh, the delay. At uh, meron kaming uh, nirecord na show ng The Duel which will air mamayang 6pm. Uh, Pag-uusapan natin kung bakit may mga schedule changes tayo. Kung napansin nyo kahapon, walang MU, walang film room, and then today, uh, wala tayong film room today. Pero bagong lahat, pag-uusapan din natin, of course, the playoffs and matchup pairings. Pero again, Pao, nagbabalik. Wala po si Calbs. Wala po si Calbs ngayon dahil nawalan po siya ng bosses from casting uh, yesterday. So, we're going to have a shorter episode ngayon. Again, pag-uusapan natin the playoffs and of course, yung mga matchup pairings natin uh, dito sa top 8. And then, some schedule changes for WXC+. Mayroon tayong mga bagong shows na papasok sooner than we expected. Kaya kailangan namin mag-free up ng isang araw. So, uh, pwede ako makahingi ng uh, chat dito para makita ko sila. Para makita ko yung uh, ating mga uh, viewers dyan. Pero I, I think we're going to go uh, much, much faster naman ngayon. So, uh, topics natin ngayong araw. Pag-uusapan natin the playoffs, matchup pairings, and yung schedule changes natin. So, grabe. Grabe yung uh, playoffs natin kahapon. TNC na kalasot after uh, defeating uh, Navi. Uh, EG is uh, through as well. Secret, VP, Liquid, and Optic Gaming. And of course, VG Gaming, J Thunder, which is yung magiging kalaban nila mamaya. Uh, or ma ma bukas, as it were, against TNC. So, uh, I think uh, so far, nag maging maganda naman yung uh, mga break-off for uh, the playoffs. Titignan natin kung kaya ba ng TNC. I mean, nakalaban nilang Vichy Gaming J in the third round, tas natalo sila. So, uh, let's see if they can put them away. Now, it's going to be a best of three. So, para sa mga hindi nakakaalam, playoffs will be a best of three uh, format uh, single elimination. So, there will be no uh, second chances now. But, it will be a best of three na series. Now, sa lahat ng mga teams na nakapasok ng playoffs, they all secure at least 1.5 million pesos. Pag talo ba ang TNC, laglag? Yes. If they lose, they are out. This is, uh, this is not a double elimination. This is now single elimination. So, everyone in the top 8, meron na silang uh, 30,000 US dollars. So, which is equivalent to 1.5 million pesos. But, wala pa silang DPC points. Now, if mananalo sila, they will move up to the semifinals. And the semifinals will give out 150 uh, DPC points agad. So, if TNC wins, they actually jump into, I believe, top 10 spot sa ating uh, DPC points uh, so far. Kapag nagawa nila yan. If VG Gaming J Thunder wins, they will have their first points of the season. So, ayan. Anyway, tignan po natin. May chance ba manalo TNC? Uh, we're going to tackle that mamaya sa The Duel with uh, Ren and uh, Rina. Pre-record namin because uh, I have to leave because I will be... Well, I will tell you later kung saan ako pupunta mamaya. Pero, ay, para sa nanonood lang ngayon, I think they can. I think kung pinanood mo yung laro nila against Vichy Gaming J Thunder, Vichy Gaming J Thunder pulled off an upset victory. They were... Ano, behind sila, clutch play coming in from uh, their supports and their offlaner na Lotus Orb nila yung uh, uh, Juggernaut ult, yung Omni Slash, and that was the reason why they were able to clean out that fight and then panalo. Kung nawala yun, TNC could have easily win. So, I think in a best of three, bababa yung mga chances nyo. So, I think, uh, I think kaya yan. So, tingin nyo mas bababa ang chance ng TNC manalo sa best of three? Nope, I think it's higher. I think it's higher. I think Pag tinignan mo yung mga win percentages ng TNC for this tournament, pag tinignan mo yung stats ni Raven, for example, ngayon tournament, it's very high. He is second in KDA, second in assists among carries. Sa top 8, the highest is Sylar. But Sylar has has had three perfect games. So, uh, so uh, yun lang eh. I mean, tama yung sabi, yung sabi ni uh, Rhea RB dito, diba? yung It's the Lotus Orb on the Omni Slash that turned around the fight. Kung hindi na land yun ng, ng uh, tawag mo dito, if hindi na land yun ng uh, mga supports ng, was it the support or was it the offlaner? Or by, at least by team, by the Thunder, they would have lost. If they have lost, TNC is ano, agad catapulted sila sa playoffs agad. So I think they can take them in a best of three. I think uh, it's fair to say. Kung top three, ang haba nung ano namin, table namin. <laughs> Kung uh, top three, yes, the Underlord was actually a very big part then. 
It was the Underlord that dropped the Lotus Orb. Thank you, Flu Game. Kung top 3 lagi sa matikita ng tournaments lagi ang TNC, may chance po silang makahaba sa TI8 in, TI8 invites. Yes! I believe uh, the points will only increase the closer the tournament is sa uh, TI. So what that means is, yung mga points na binibigay ng mga tournament sa simula ng taon, mas, ma mas maliit compared sa mga tournaments at the end of the calendar year for Dota. So Epicenter, for example, will have more points compared to majors before it. Kasi yun yung parang way ng Valve na, okay, para, paano makahabol yung mga ibang teams? Kasi if pare-pareho yung price, yung points payout nila, then hindi makakahabol yung teams na madedehado. So, start ng game tomorrow, I believe, is uh, 3 p.m. Uh, tomorrow yung start. There are no games today. Uh, for They're going to take one day break. They have a media day today. I'm, in, I'm talking with uh, the team uh, right now, actually. They're waiting for their media day doon sa Bucharest. So, Yung po may points sa TNC, paglaglag sila bukas wala. Wala po. There are no points tomorrow uh, on the line. If you win, you go to the semifinals. If you lose, you're out without points. So, yun po yung uh, mangyayari. So, uh, yun po yung playoffs natin. Sino yung uh, pinakagusto nyo makita mga matchups aside from uh, TNC? You can comment there. Or maglalagay kami ng thread actually sa lupon ng Wombo Combo. You can find it there as well. So, tignan natin. Let's go to our second uh, topic ngayon, match-up pairings. So, match-up pairings ngayon. And this one, I want to open up to you guys. Okay ba kayo sa style ng pag-pair nila sa top 8? So, I think meron tayong tweet na pwedeng ipakita sa kanila dito, Lars. Can we uh, show them? By the way, shoutouts sa uh, tech team natin, si Lars. Ito, makikita nyo ngayon. Um, this is from Knoxville. Sabi niya, it's completely ridiculous that after 3 days, of Swiss, the excellent tiebreakers na napoprovide ng Swiss format uh, is ignored. Secret and TNC are easily the best performing 3-1 and 3-2 teams by opponent win match percentage. Pero binigyan sila ng hardest pairing statistically. So, yun yung sabi ng, uh, yun yung usap-usapan ng mga international analysts natin sa Twitter. Ewan ko, uh, sangayon ba kayo? Ako, medyo sangayon ako kay Ben that I don't think naging maganda yung implementation ng Swiss format so far sa ating tournament pero okay na rin dahil I think deserving naman yung mga teams na nakabasa so may sked ba ng laban? yes, there is a schedule of the matches I believe you can uh, find that sa Wombo Combo na page you can also find that on Join Dota on Gosu Gamers and uh, of course on Wickroom's page Wickroom Ready on uh, Twitter and on Facebook so meron na pong schedule ng mga laro the first game is going to be TNC versus uh Versus VG Gaming Data Center. Actually, Lars, can you pull up uh, the schedule and uh, tignan natin kung ano ba yung buong schedule ng mga laro. Mahina daw! Yeah, pero mahina daw. Ewan, ewan ko, usually may mahina pero may sabi naman, okay lang. I don't know. Tignan natin dyan. Hello. Okay. Should be okay daw. Kaya na pa ako nagsisila. Ngayon lang kayo nagsabi. <laughs> Mahina yung volume. Okay. How about now? Okay. How about ilapit ko rin siya. Tignan nyo yan. Mahina. Mahina pa rin ba? Hello. Type nyo one kapag naririnig nyo yung boses ko ng maayos. One. One. Okay naman pala. Lakas lang yung speaker. Pa-shoutout from Bangkok. Hello, Danny. Sakto naman. Okay. Yung pa pala eh. Anyway, okay. Na ano tayo? Um, papakita ni Lars dito yung uh, schedule natin. Actually, you can just drag that into the page. Naririnig. Kaso medyo mahins. Oops. Alright. Tayo lang ayo si uh, Boss Lars. Eh. Kakabit lang yung uh, ating schedule bago tayo pumunta sa ating schedule changes. It's gonna be a shorter show ngayon. Kung napansin nyo, wala si Kalbo. Wala siya dito ngayon. Napaos po ang tito nyo. And uh, film room natin, we have some uh, teasers from yung film room natin. Yung next nating uh, episode ng film room will be on Friday. And it is with the legendary Dota 1 player, Demon. 
yung film, yung film room natin. Okay. Okay, okay. Pakita natin ngayon the schedule for the matches. Halatang galing betting side. <laughs> But then, actually, paki minimize nga. Let's see. Uh, no, yung, yung Twitch chat ko lang. Hindi ko makita. Hindi ko lang makita. Wait, there. <laughs> minimize mo lang. Oh, okay, there you go. So, unang laro is going to be BG Gaming J Thunder, followed by Secret versus Newbie, and then Liquid versus EG, and then BP versus Optic. So, magiging last nating laro for tomorrow, March 9, ang simula po niyan. So, I believe it starts at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. I'm not really sure. Agabang lang po kayo sa Wombo Combo na Facebook page for the Philippine time schedule. Alright. Kailan ulit the duel? The duel will air mamayang hapon, 6pm, but sadly it will not be live because I will be at ESPN uh, Sports Center mamaya sa TV5 that will air at 9.30pm. So since I have to be there, uh, yung duel natin, pinre-record na po namin, tapos na po siyang i-record, pinuputol na lang po siya ngayon. So it will go live mamaya dito sa channel namin, pero pre-recorded na version. So nandun pa rin si Rina, uh, ako and si Ren, ang mga pag-uusapan namin. Actually, nandito, kaka-record lang namin. Para makita nyo. Uh, mga pag-uusapan namin kung uh, tama ba yung format ng Swiss. Dapat bang bigyan ng pera lahat ng team na sumali ng majors and minors. And of course, sino yung... Man- kaya bang talunin ng TNC ang BG Game and J Thunder? So, yung pag-uusapan natin mamaya. Let's see, ano format po ng playoffs? The playoffs are single elimination, best of three. Boss, pa, pa, shout out kay Miss ka na namin mag-cast. Ah, thank you. Hindi kaya na boss. Guys, sorry. Esports ba topic sa ESPN 5? Yes, uh, mamaya sa ESPN 5 Sports Center, we will be talking about PGL Bucharest. That's why I will be their guest to talk about Bucharest tonight. So, 9.30 po yon on uh, uh, TV5 ESPN. So, dahil po doon, we have to pre-record yung ating The Duel. Bakit wala ka ng shades? Actually, nakalimutan ko po ngayong araw. Masakit na ngayon ako eh. And it's not shades. Yung, yung grado kasi ng mata ko, astigmatism ko, 50-20, no, 50-30. So, kapag kailangan ko po siya kung nakatingin ako sa computer na matagal. Hindi naman masyadong, ano, hindi naman masyadong kailangan, pero nakalimutan ko lang kasi bago lang eh. So, shoutout po sa akin kay Jos Jarl. Kailan po laro na TNC? Tomorrow! Uh, good PM, Huawei. Boss Pao, pa-shoutout. Pampawala, umay sa trabaho. Watching here sa BGC while working. Si Ken, baby. Boss, may na mic mo. Mahina daw. Boss Pao, bakit yung Mineski? Parang yung nangyayari sa faceless dati, yung biglang umihina. Um, I think you can take a look at it on different ways. I think one of the reasons is that medyo mabilis kasi yung pagpalit ng patch natin, which is... Pwede niyong pag-usapan ngayon. Saan kaya yun ba kayo na palagi nagpapalit yung patch? Pero dahil palagi nagpapalit yung patch, syempre, na, nagpapalit yung mga strategies. May mga teams na umakit, mababa. And I think Mineski is still finding their their goals. Or no, not, not their goals. Their footing sa bagong mga meta. So I wouldn't say na they're like Team Faceless. I think they're much better than Faceless. Although, I think then that other teams in Southeast Asia and around the world are getting much better, much faster. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. I don't know how the teams train. Pero who knows? One patch might favor them and then bumalik sila sa taas. Dinadaan na lang. So, um, anong oras? Sa PH time, yung laban ng TNC. I'm not sure, pero it might be 3 or 4 p.m. Like, like normal. Pero sila yung unang laban. May chance ba mag-champion ng TNC? I think realistically, I would expect TNC to reach at least the semifinals. There's a chance that they can reach the finals, pero I think mahirap yung bracket nila. Kasi yung, yung bracket nila sa, sa top 8, una lang kalaban Vichy Gaming, J and Thunder. Yung susunod nilang kalaban potentially is Secret and Newbie. And I think Secret is very scary. So, if they can beat Secret, which I think Secret is favored against them, then ang pwede nilang potential na makalaban is EG from the lower bracket or liquid. And then of course VP is also in there. So mahirap, mahirap sabihin. Maybe if someone else can knock out um 
VP, which I think VP is their worst matchup, and they somehow beat Secret, siguro, pero titignan natin. Pabilisan lang maka-adopt sa meta. Yes, it's a two-week meta. May chance pa mag-champion. What do you think about Vichy Gaming J versus TNC? You'll you'll find more about my thoughts sa Vichy Gaming J th TNC sa The Duel mamaya yan. At 6pm pa rin. But uh, Cliff Notes version is that I think TNC can take them in a best of three. I think that hindi, wala tayo, oh, hindi ko ibabash ang Vichy Gaming J. I think they're a wonderful team. But I think yung panalo nila sa TNC could have just as easily been a TNC win. So in the best of three, kaya ng TNC yun. They barely managed to defeat TNC the first time around. So in the best of three, I think kaya nila. Lakas sa ng Mineski, humihina sa minor and major. I don't know if you can say that because they won a minor. So I think ngayon lang yun. Mineski pa din po ba ang top SEA team? I think technically, eh, Mineski is still the top team. Pero hindi ganun kalayo yung agwat. I think until TNC can put up a solid minor or major finish, then they could they were they are the next in line to take over top in C, I think. Boss Pao, tambay muna ako sa bahay. Start pa ng new work ko sa April 2 pa, sabi ni Sam 66. Wish me luck. Good luck. GGWP sa new roster ng TNC, GGWP. Hindi na masama. Good job din sa. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hanggang kailan na PJL? PJL is all the way until Sunday. So, Boss Pao, di ba issue din sa Mineski? Nagpalit sila ng coach. That is si Winter. Uh, yung pinalit nila ng Chinese is 71. 71 is uh, one of the legendary coaches of uh, of China. So, I think it's I think it's okay. Pero, I think nakikita mo rin dun that maybe the 71 is part of a Chinese tradition of Dota na medyo conservative. So maybe that's one of the reasons. Pwede mong sabihin that they can't adapt too much, too well into the patch. Pero that's just one of many, many potential uh, reasons. I don't think it's... Gato yan, guys. Dota is so complicated na hindi mo pwedeng sabihin dahil lang sa isang bagay. Maraming, ano yan, maraming factors yan. Masasabi mo, boss pa sa TNC Navi. I expected TNC to win. I uh, The smoke movement by uh, TNC was uh, very, very good. Inalakasan na yung sound namin. Uh, naririnig ko rin siya lumalakas. So, may ina ako kanyan. Can you say na tier 1 team na po ba ang TNC? Nope. I will say that they are tier 2 team. Tier 1 team, I believe there are only 4. Liquid, Secret, Newbie, and VP. So, mahina daw. Mahina, 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 mahina. Ano dapat gawin ng TNC para maharating at least sa semi-final? Uh, that's just beat VGJ. So, Thunder. So, I think they just, they have to do everything that they did no game one. I think that was fine. I think that was fine. I think they, ito yung sinasabi ko nung isang linggo pa. I don't think TNC has to reinvent the wheel to win. Nakikita nyo naman eh. Effective naman yung ginagawa nila eh. Siguro, ang pinakinakatakutan ko lang kalaban ng TNC is VP. That's it. Everything, everyone else, I think they can beat. So. Boss Pao, what if? Possible kaya makuha ng TNC Tigers sa SSIs? Nope, impossible. I'm sorry. Uh, it's impossible. Uh, good. Oh, si Swaken004. I remember you. Good job to the show, old na fan ng MU. Oh, thank you. But solo flight ako ngayon. Si Calbs ay walang boses. If Mineski should replace someone... Mm. Yeah, I could see a reason for Moon. Pero again, guys, katulad nung kanina bago ko sinagot, will TNC Tigers ever get Ice Ice Ice? They can't. Ice 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 will never move because if Ice 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 leaves a team, he can never be invited to TI. So sayang yung points niya. He has to go through open qualifiers. Guys, you have to remember, we are roster locked until after TI. There is no more chances for a player to move to a team in a way that it, na magbe-benefit silang makuha pa rin yung, ano, yung points. So it's really hard for me to say na who do you think itatanggalin? Do you think kukunin ng team na ganito si ganyan? Because there's no incentive for them to do so. If they do move ngayon, sayang. So, yun lang. Pansin ko lang sa TNC, napaka-predictable ng smokes nila. I think you can expect that from a team that's new in their LAN, in their new setup. Smoke rotations are something that you develop after lands. Kasi you learn from other teams and their smoke rotations. 
Yan, real talk yun. Actual real talk yun. Uh, that's how teams learn from each other. They, syempre nakita nila, ay, ang galing palang mag-smoke nung gantong oras, dito pala sa dumadaan. Then they learn. Pero ngayon, bago pa kasing team. Eh. So, possible lineup ng TNC Tiger. I think si Black is possible. I think si Black is possible. Boss pa, para sa inyo, manner ng gameplay pinakagusto mo, NA type, SEA Chinese, Europe, or Pinoy's. There's a specific Chinese style that I enjoy the most, which is DK. Para siyang 4 Protect 1, pero Tagalawa, kung naalala niyo yung old na Team DK. Si Lanam tsaka si MMY, maghahanap ng kill sa taas. So, ibig sabihin nun, magte-teleport yung mga support sa taas. Pag nag-teleport yung mga support sa taas, si Mushi tsaka si Ice Ice Ice, maghahanap ng kill sa gitna. Parang ganun. And then, habang ginagawa nila yun, pa-teleport ng pa-teleport yung kalaban, si Burning Nightfall Farm. Which is why DK is my favorite team of all time. Last few. Boss Pao, saan napunta si Tihi? Bigla kasi nawala sa task as Titans. I'm not entirely sure. Pero I, I know that he is out of the Titans. So, I think he is teamless. Kasi nung isang araw, mag-ausap kong Minitihi, naghahanap siya ng anime na panoorin. So, he's probably teamless. Nine Pasha in Lil. I've seen the Reddit thread. I think there's just bad blood between them. Don't exactly know why because I'm not from Russia. I don't really have Russian contracts. So, let's see. Boss Pao, ano moment? Ano comment mo sa position for Nature's Prophet ng EG? I like it. I like it. I think Nature's Prophet, because before Nature's Prophet was played position 4 or well, the mid. I don't know, Dota 1 pa yun eh. Pero I like it. I wouldn't use it all the time because it's very farm heavy. It's very farm heavy. And may kita mo ngayon, a lot of teams are picking Nature's Prophet, Gyrocopter, mga ganyan, because they have level... I believe they all have level 10 damage na bonus. Kus kung napansin nyo ang dami ring Divine Rapier sa laro, because Divine Rapier is the only cost-effective or the most cost-effective damage item in the game. So, pinipilin nila yung mga Gyrocopter, yung mga Nature's Prophet, because masakit siyang mag-right-click ng maaga. Kung napansin nyo, hindi siya right-clickers meta. Nagiging right-clickers meta siya kasi ang pangit ng mga tag ng right-click items. So, Diba, halos kada laro merong, merong rapier because it's very effective. That's the best cost, efe cost efficient na damage item in the game. So, Tingin mo, boss pa, ang nabi sure pasok na ba? Maari pa silang malaglag sa direct invite. I think maari silang malaglag sa direct invite. I forgot if it was Nahaz or si Ben. I think they calculated that ang magiging sure lock for invites would range between 6,000 points to 4,500 points. I think that will constitute your top 8. So, yun, sure luck yun. Of course, sometimes, baka mamaya, manalo isang team, tapos never win again, so sayang, masisilat yung mga points. So, I think once you get, like, 4,000 points, you're for sure going to get invited, and then, depende na lang kung who else has more points. Mm -hmm. Sino po owner ng Taskas Titans? Taskas, the, the BPO the BPO. Si Scamber Lu. I believe Scamber Lu is looking for teams. I don't know if he's find a, a, a finalized lineup. I like Sam H mid. That was a good lane swap. Tingin mo, pwede mag-position 3 si Kuku given na magaling siya sa farming niya. Nope. Okay. Yung question ni Eman, pwede bang mag-position 3 si Kuku? Yes. Should he? No, because if he goes to position 3, Sam will si Sam. Sam, I don't think, is going to be effective as any kind of support. He, he, he is also not effective if you give him more farm. I think Sam is the best on position 3, that it's actually quite inflexible. Because otherwise, Sam will be So, I, I, I think they should... I think the question should be, should Tims be 5 or Kuku be 5? Maybe Kuku is better on 4 than Tims. I think that's a better question. But it also depends on Hero. Because for example, if he goes Witch Doctor and, and uh, Tims, because Tims enjoys playing Nyx Assassin na 4, you can't really expect Nyx Assassin to be 5 because he needs levels. So since he needs levels, he needs to farm. Since he needs to farm, why? Because he needs to level 6. So, it's kind of Let's see. Um, Sir Pao, follow-up question. I agree, TNC is not yet a tier 1 team. What would it take for a Filipino team to be a 
tier one level. Is it the mechanical skill? I think most games of Dota, 60% of the game of Dota is won by your mechanical skill. Your strategies, yes, they come into play, pero you can't make strategies before you've completed, completely mastered your mechanical skill. Right now, individually, yung mechanical skill ng TNC is mataas. But their team-wide mechanical skill, how they interact with each other, how they communicate. Part of mechanics is communication. Paano mo sasabihin na, Oy, magle-level 6 na ako. 20 experience na lang. Pwede tayong mag-go for a play. Yung talagang tipong pagpalo ng level 6 mo, pasok agad yung support. That's mechanical play. But that's on a team, sort of parang team-based na mechanical play. Once they master that, maybe that's the time that they can increase their pool of strategies. But not before. Kasi kapag ang dami mong strategy, dami mong strategy, hindi mo naman magawa ng maayos yung isa. Matatalo ka pa rin. Yeah. So. Mas pa ako masyabi OP yung gyro sa meta if may papalitan sa skill tree niya, yung pwede magpa-nerf sa kanya. I don't think it's too OP. Again, I think, peop, and I've, I've talked to some teams, I've been talking to TNC, I've been talking to Vega, I've been talking to some people from Optic. The reason why gyro is picked is because it has a plus 25 attack on level 10. Kung napansin nyo, all of them are all getting SNY and then the next damage item siguro is ano diba? Drums, SNY and then whatever utility item and then diretsong Divine because every other damage item in the game is pangit. Either masyadong mahal, hindi mo kailangan yung ibang parte. Ang pinaka cost efficient na damage item sa laro ngayon is Divine. That's why there's so many Divine, divine Rapiers sa Bucharest. And Gyro just happens to be the best at holding one. Kasi sobrang safe niya eh. Nasa dito ka, bahala kung ilan yung kalaban mo, tatamaan sila lahat. So, if meron ako change the skill tree niya, maybe reduce the attack damage. But if you reduce the attack damage, you're not really answering the question of bakit ang pangit ang mga damage items nila. Subukan yung, pag-isipan nyo ngayon. Kailan kayo nakakita ng Daedalus last? Wala. Kailan kayo nakakita ng Echo Saber last? Hindi rin. Kasi uh, there's some... May terror blades, mga ganun. They don't really get that. So, I think that's the reason. I think that's the reason. It's the it's a damage talent. Furion, bahit bumalik. Because you have a damage talent. So. Um, Honestly, elite position 4 player na si Tims. Yeah, I would say. In favor ka ba na top 4 lang ang may points sa Bucharest? No. No. Beer Bud, will Wombo Combo have their own Dota Pro team? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Masag masasagot na rin ba na masagot all Filipino or without import? Um, I don't think it's a... Uh, I, I don't think na 100% palaging okay na with all Filipino. There are certainly times na it's better na you're all Filipino and there are times na it's okay na you mix. I don't think na it's always going to be the same answer for every time you ask the question. One can argue na dahil nahaluan yung TNC with Demon in TI6, Sobrang ganda. ba? Ngayon, siguro bas better na silang lahat Pilipino kasi they've learned from these foreign players. ba? Armel has been with CG. Uh, he was able to play with other international players with, like sila Chapi. TNC has been playing with Demon and then with 1437. And then they were coached by another foreigner, si Kips. So natuto na silang lahat doon. They even went to Malaysia to play with Fnatic. ba? Some of them, si Raven, for example. So, they've learned from these foreign players. So, ngayon, okay na silang lahat Pilipino. Kasi, marami na silang natutunan. Now, they just need to make sure na maganda yung communication nila so that they can execute what they've learned. But, if you're a developing team, there are times na okay din. Kasi may matututunan ka rin from other regions. So, I don't know. Uh, masyadong minamaliit ng VG Gaming J ang TNC. but kaya galit na galit si ROTK? Galit na galit ba si ROTK? Wala pa ako nakikitang... I've seen him in after parties. He's nice. Ewan ko kung saan yung nakuha. <laughs> Wala pong laro mamaya. Yes, meron ding movement na plus uh, 50 movement. That's actually also very OP. Actually. Kasi he's, he builds agility. He has SNY. Uh, sometimes he builds face boots. Oh, no, he builds face boots. So, I think Normally, after you get the plus 50 movement speed, plus meron siyang Django, he's always at 488 movement speed. Sobrang safe niyang magdala ng, ano eh, <laughs> ng, ng Divine Rapier. So. Suggest ko, visit a shop segment by Wombo Combo. Gusto ko yun. 
Visit a shop segment by Wombo Combo. Tingnan mo kaya. Tingnan mo, tingnan mo Lars. Visit a shop. Parang pupunta lang tayo ng shop tapos may data tayo ng camera. Okay, di ba? Okay daw. Sige, pwede namin gawin sa future. Yan. Boss, paano kaya ang kulang sa Filipino team para lumakas against malalakas sa team? More experience, I think. Do you believe na esports players have slower reaction time kapag tumanda like in their late 20s and 30s? I think normally they do. Pero you can perform certain exercises, live a healthier lifestyle so that your reaction times aren't really impacted. Look at, take a look at uh, CSGO players. CSGO players are pretty old compared to Dota players. So I, I think it's been scientifically proven na yes, on normal humans, bumabagal talaga yung reaction time mo. That's just aging, like myself. Bumagal, sobrang bagal na na reaction time ko kung naglalaro. That's why I play weird heroes now. <laughs> Tidehunter, mga ganun. Although I still play Beastmaster. I can't play Invoker. Hindi ako marunong mag-invoker. Wala na akong talent dun. Sinuko ko na yun. Um, but, with the proper training, proper diet, um, you can see that there are some elite level esports players in their 30s and above. I, I think, si, si Lataz, yung mga VP Lars, di ba? Nasa 30s na nila. There, I mean, yeah, VP is a bad example because the VP CSGO team is falling apart. Alright, uh, let's see. Boss Pao, looking forward to post the eye once mag-alisan yung mga players na TNC. Um, I don't know if TNC will disband. I don't think they're the kind of team. They've been together since 2016. 2015 even. Let's see. Mas OP ang morph kaysa sa gyro sa tingin mo kuya pa. O depende pa rin niya sa gamit. I think mas mataas yung ceiling ng morph. Pero if you're a team na... You're, you're decent at gyro, it's going to be better for you. It's, it's, ganito na lang, para mas malinaw. Gyrocopter is safer. It's more stable. Pero if magaling na magaling kayong mag-morph, sobrang lakas ng morph. So, tarang ganun. Boss Pao, mga gawa ni Kuko bilang captain para mas mag-improve ang TNC. Like, sinabi mo kay Ronald Rana, mas maayos na, ha? Like, sinabi mo kay Kuro, mas naging maayos na players yung Miracle. I think Kuko's development as a captain, ang susunod noon, will be how to bring out the best in your players. Kasi that's one thing na you have to understand when you're a captain. It's not na... You can't expect everyone to just follow what you say. A team is a collection of egos. Siyempre, kunwari, nag nagkakainisan na kayo. A good captain will tell you what to do kung nagkakainisan na kayo. A great captain will get you to still perform the best even though naiinis ka. The best captain will, will not let you get to that point. So I think in yung next na mga stages ng development ni Kuko, he might be he might come up to be a really really great captain in the future. So hopefully he develops towards that. Fantasy draft. Maruno mag Mipo. I can play Mipo. Mipo is easy uh, compared Ah, oh, kunsan hirapan na ako kay Invoker eh. Kunsan hirapan na ako mag Invoker. Mipo. Ano lang yun eh, tab, tab Q, tab Q. Net. 'Di ba? May dali lang. You can auto attack into a uh, to a creep camp. Beastmaster, I think, is my favorite hero of all time. So, micro is fine. Yung reaction time kayo mahina. So, kunwari, habang nagko-combo ka, tapos biglang may darate, mag-ghost mo ka. Yun, doon ako. <laughs> Sobrang banu ko maging booker. Grabe. PH government regulating esports scene. Good or bad? We will talk about that in a different time. <laughs> if ever mag-support si Kimo, then balik sa position 1 si Kuko. Magiging okay. Kaya, um... I don't know. Again, you have to... The question isn't if, if it's going to be okay position-wise. I think the question is going to be who else is on the team? Sino yung actual shot caller? Because, sinayin mo sa akin, Kuku and Kimo, those are two captains. Sometimes, you, you have to understand if you have two captains, sometimes magiging watak yung game plan nyo, di ba? So. Ang baba talaga ng win rate ni Invoker sa pro play. Yeah, because he takes... Uh, he doesn't have the best laning stage. Gyro Medusa, I will take Gyro. Boss, last few, ah, and then uh, we'll go to our last na topic. Boss Power, napansin ko lang ang baba na talaga ng win. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Shadow Blade. Boss Power, if, mag, if magkasakit ng something speed playoffs, bali magsa-stand din pag nanalo mga kwa din ng... Yes, may, may... You're going to get less points if you have a stand-in. But there is a provision to allow for stand-ins uh, in professional play. I believe you're going to get like half or... 
actually I will get back to you on that. I know there I know na nandun siya sa Dota 2 na uh, major registration list na page. Boss wow, ano kayang need pag improve ni Armel? Medyo na ito kasi na para madalas yung four lang yung gumagalaw hindi kasama si Armel. Burao Ranger, that's part of their strategy. They're playing four protect one. That means na the four are moving around the map to bring pressure around the map para walang pumunta kay Armel. Diba? So, it he doesn't need to be in those ganks. Diba? They need to give him space to farm. So, it's not na he's lacking kaya hindi siya nakakasali. Hindi siya nakakasali because the team is designed to work that way. So, actually, that was actually, si Kuku nagsabi sa akin. That's why before nung qualifiers, naglalaro sila ng invoker. Diba? Nung qualifiers, may invoker pa si silang nilalaro. They have that so that uh, he can join. He can just sunstrike from across the map. Let's see. Gusto hai ko garo makaipon sa agad gamay ko ba hindi ang chapag sa mo. Gusto hai ko ako makaulam ako ng garo ba yung game to watch ko. Ano ko parang nagkamali ata ng uh, nagkamali ka ata ng napuntahan na rain 2222. O saan mo ba nagchange roster di makakasali sa TI? Hindi sa hindi ka makakasali sa TI it's just that you will not be invited to the closed qualifiers, you have to go through the open qualifiers. Whew. Anyway, time check 4.15, so we're gonna wrap this up. Um, ako ng All-Star Philippines. I think we answered that in a gang squad, so you can watch that on YouTube. Clunt Lloyd. Attack Flying Ibis. Top 3 players lang kinukuhanan ng DBC. No, hindi sa top 3 lang yung kinukuhanan. Yun lang yung parang pinakamataas. Kasi, when they put that out, pwede ka pang mag-change ng team eh. So, para at least if mag- Iba. Yeah, I'm looking at both. <laughs> uh, kung mag-iba ka ng team, hindi naman yung buong organisasyon yung parang bigla na lang, alam mo yun, kunwari pwedeng mag-jump ship yung mga players mo, di ba? So, yung at least tatlo, para yung three highest naman, may chance pa rin yung team makapasok. Madalas pala mag-shot, mag-shot call? Yeah, yeah. Kasi Tims is the roamer. So, he really does shot, shot call a lot. Especially sa early game. Towards the late game, si Kuku at si Armel na yung to take over. Kasi they're already farmed. They don't need to, ano. Wala na ba after this segment? Uh, no, after this segment, we will go on a break. There is no film room today. And then at 6pm, we will have the duel. So. Alright. So, uh, okay. Bagong lahat. Uh, we will stop reading the chat lang muna. We'll uh, tell you the schedule changes lang. And then after that, uh, some more shoutouts. And then we'll have to go. Schedule changes natin for WXC Plus. So on Wednesdays, nilagay namin kahapon, we will no longer have uh, MUs and film rooms on Wednesdays. Now, matami ginawa yun because we are going to release a new show on Wednesdays. Uh, yeah, announce namin in the future kung ano yun. Pero abangan nyo yun. It's going to be very, very different sa mga ginagawa namin ngayon. Pero that will come out on Wednesday. So, finri up na muna namin yun. So every Wednesday, wala muna tayong show. Now, Every Friday, yung film room natin will feature international players. So the last time we had, for the first episode, diba, we had si Universe. So si Universe yung pinakauna natin. For our next episode, we will have Demon. And uh, Demon's interview was very, very good. Kung fan kayo ng history ng Dota all the way back from Dota 1, EG, uh, No Tide Hunter, before sila naging alliance, ang daming insights ni Demon dahil he lived through it. He, he lived through the era and he was willing to share it with us dito. So I hope you'll enjoy it. We will release that tomorrow. So uh, Film Room tomorrow is 4pm. And you can watch it on YouTube. So, uh, and let's see. Uh, bago tayo uh, mag bye bye Again, uh, I will have to go. No Film Room today because I need to go to... TV5 for later. But the duel will still be here. Nag pre record na kami. So it will go live later at 6 pm. So tomorrow po yung film room with Demon. Kailan yung uh, TV5? Uh, it's going to air at 9 30. Magte taping kami ng 6. So 9 30. So we're just gonna talk about Bucharest. Um, so further explanation ko ba si teams ng captain figures at teams. Yes, yes. Again, uh, all of these players communicate with each other. Except that, syempre si Tim, siya yung magdadala ng early game. Kasi siya yung primary roamer. He's the four. So, so yeah. Mas pa, pwede kaming magiging just dyan or mga call-in kung sa inyo. Yes! Uh, team Macaroni Salad, we are going to release 
very soon, of course, inaayos lang namin yung technology natin, kung paano kayo maka-call in. Because we want more call-ins for matinong usapan and a uh, future show that we're going to do. By the way, future Film Room episodes natin, we will have submissions of your replays. So, pwede kayo mag-submit ng replays. You will, we'll have you on the phone. Manonood tayo together. And then, if easy stream natin, so, you know, we can talk about ano kaya yung pwedeng mangyari, mangyari mag, magawa dito. And we will guess si BYB and si Rain. Right now, medyo nahihirapan tayo. Kung napapansin nyo, nahihirapan tayo mag-film room because everyone is casting uh, Bucharest. Today, break day nila kasi magpe-playoffs na. So, we're not going to have it today as well. So, uh, wrap up. My prediction for Bucharest. Um, I think TNC will get into the semifinals. But I think EG might go champion. I think EG might take it. I think EG might take it. Uh, I don't know if they're going to face Secret. But I guess it's going. It's either going to be Secret or EG. Oh, no. Secret or TNC that they face in the finals. But I think EG might take it. So, yun lang. This is not a scientific na... Hindi to scientific na... Uh, prediction. I haven't looked at... Kasi, guys, ito lang ha. Na, real talk then. When you ask an analyst to give you a prediction, kapag sinabi nila yan without the draft, hula yan. Yung, yung sinabi ko sa inyo, hula yun, puso lang yun. Kapag gagamitin ko yung utak ko, I need to see the draft. Kasi if I don't see the draft, paano ko masasabi? Baka mamaya pumili sila ng kung ano-ano, ba? Feeling ko, EG might win. TNC might take the semifinals. There's a chance that TNC can beat Secret. So, the finals match might be EG versus either TNC or Secret. Because I think TNC will win against VG Gaming J. So, yun lang. Anyway, uh, last view. Anong meron sa TV for mamaya or tomorrow? Uh, Nedski, it's Sports Center on TV5. And since I am an ESPN writer, uh, we are going to talk about PGL Bucharest. Because ESPN TV5 will be showing, I believe, the finals of Bucharest on TV. So, uh, kuya Paong, Emi Paong, feature ng other games in the future. I don't know. If you guys want to feature other uh, shows, uh, other games on this show, you can go to Lupon ng Wambukambu sa Facebook. Sabihin nyo lang doon so that we can have a discussion. Makita natin if other people want it. And then we might feature it. Um, let's see. Newbie vs. Secret, maganda rin laro. Yeah, that's the second. Ano. John Ulalim, shout out sa'yo. Saan mag- mas magandang chance ang TNC, Secret, or Newbie? I think TNC has a better chance against Newbie. But I think Secret will beat Newbie. So. Nasa live stream ba ng YouTube yung Sports Center? I don't know actually. Pero I believe na yung segment about esports will be on Facebook. So anyway, that's all the time we have today. Thank you to everyone na nandyan, nanood. We will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Roche Pit. Matinong usapan. And then, the special episode of Film Room. Today, after the show, magbe-break muna tayo. Mag-host lang tayo ng uh, other stuff. At 6pm will be the duel between myself, si Ren, and si Rina. Panawarin niyo po yun. Um, some interesting stuff. If gusto niyo malaman yung mga take namin on Vici Gaming J versus TNC, nandun din po yun. Spoiler alert, some, some of it sinabi ko na. So, tignan natin. Um... Oh, Manalo, this is VGJ. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Goodbye, everyone. See you around 6.30.